Juan Bob's had a lot explaining to do during Monday night's Women Tell All. Corsetti here with her top five moments. Number five, Andy may still think Juan Pablo's a jerk after their failed fantasy suite date, but looks like there's still hope for a friendship here. I have parts that I'm gonna defend him for. There's parts that I think he was a jerk, and I have no problem saying that to him, and he knows that. But, you know, I'm, I'm just honest about it, and there's things that I liked, and there's things that I still don't like about it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Number four, Juan Pablo gets called out on his no kissing policy, which let's face it guys, only went into effect when he felt like it. I'm not here to kiss 27 women. I'm here to see how I feel. And if I feel it's the right time, I will kiss her. And I did with Renee. Number three, Juan Pablo defends his decision to meet Renee's son during the hometown dates and then eliminating her soon after. I feel like if you're gonna do a hometown, you yeah. should take that seriously and you should know if Renee is for you. And I feel like before hometown, you would have been able to tell that. And I feel like if Renee wasn't for you, yeah. then you should have never met her son. Got to admit, we're siding with Cassandra on this one. Number two, Juan Pablo gets emotional talking about the media controversy surrounding his gay people shouldn't be on The Bachelor comments by not really addressing it at all. You made a comment mm -hmm. about gays being more pervert. I can talk to you after this because Obviously, that situation was taken out of context, so I will talk to you. I will not waste four minutes to try to explain it here. I'd rather talk to you for an hour and explain you everything. And the number one moment from the Women Tell All, Charlene. And all the times, she was the classiest chick in the room. I'm sure I'll get a lot of eye rolls for this, but I found him very curious. I could see him as someone that I would date very happily. Right. I have a lot of respect for him, actually, and I yeah. thought he was very kind to me. We talked a lot about equality, and I mean, from what I can gather, he's very open-minded, and we all might have said and done things that, if you pluck it out, it sounds completely different than if you had, you know, it bookended. Subscribe for more Bachelor news and recaps. Click here to find out which of Juan Pablo's exes is engaged, and click right here for more great and awkward moments from this season.